Good day everybody. Today we are building a real Canadian Superstore here on Minecraft in the creative mode. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have a 100 by 75 square. Now this is our rough estimate of where the building's going to be. This 100 by 75 can change throughout the build, but it is a good starting point. Now this is just going to strictly be an exterior build as I will not be doing an interior build on such a large scale building. But feel free to do your own sort of interior. If you guys would like to see an interior build, I will happily do it. Just leave it in the comments, but it will take a lot of time. So let's jump into it. Starting one off the wall on each side, we're just going to take some stone straight across. Now I'm using a city texture pack so this might look a little bit different than what you might build. We're just going to continue running it all the way over one way from the wall on each side off and inside. Now what you're going to want to do is add another row of stone front of that. As this first one that we did will just be for the outside lip of the building. I didn't caption it but here we are. There is our two rows now. I'm just going to continue on with the outside lip here. We'll take it all the way down and then we will bring it to Alright, so we've removed 20. Just gonna run another row here again. This is where the wall, the wall of the building will end up sitting. We're gonna start with some blue concrete and we're just gonna go down. We're gonna count to 12 here for our first layer. Go all the way down to the end here and do the exact same thing. Do a row of 12. And then we will use the white concrete and go all the way to connect it. It's my first Minecraft tutorial, so don't be too harsh in the comments section as these videos will get better. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go three high with that blue. Yeah, I just messed that up here, so I'll go back in. Fix that. That did the same here again too. No, 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 I'm just gonna fix that quick. So we get a third row of 12. Bring the white all the way back again. Far. <laughs> yeah, now we'll fix that. And then the next layer of blue is going to be eight. We're going to lose four and then connect it with the white again. So we'll do three of the eight, and then you're going to do three with just four. We're gonna drop four each time. All right, then once you got that, you're just gonna wanna fill it all back in white. I'm gonna do this off camera, just to speed up the video a little bit. All right, so we got that wall done. Now let's move on to the next one here. That is gonna be the rear wall. So for this next one, we'll be doing the exact same thing, except for our starting point will be the one that's already laid down. And then we're just gonna do 12, eight, and four and then go all the way to the end and do 12, eight, and four again and fill everything else in white. I'm gonna do this off camera just to speed the video up a little bit more. So we are almost done here, just doing the last little bit of the white concrete. And once you're done this, do the exact same on the other side. And then the entire way across, use black concrete at this level and then add another layer of white concrete on top of that, conjoining the other sides. I forgot to caption it, so it will be here shortly. So this is what you should be looking at. 
you're going to want to connect it across and then just have the black concrete line up with the original top from the previous bit and then just white concrete all the way around it to kind of give it the depth that it is an actual roof. All right, a little disappointed that that didn't caption the other side, but we're gonna go ahead and do the front side now. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna move glue again, just do the rows of 12 first. Have three rows of 12. We're gonna start off in that first one again. So it just be another 11 added on. Uh, that's gonna fill the whole thing off. So we're just gonna change this bottom row to stone, just to make it fit in. When we go to the white, it, there won't be stone anymore. It'll just be stone under the blue. Then it doesn't look so out of place. And we'll just go back to the blue. One too many. And I'm just, once again, using the white for reference to take off another four spot. Wait, it's at eight. That's counting. Three rows of that, and then we'll be doing three rows of four to take it home. And then we'll just fill the white in. Just like that. So if you have an interior idea with this, feel free to do it yourself and Post a link in the comment section for that as I'd love to see that as well. We're just going to do the other side of here. I'm going to try to not do a whole bunch off camera. Count out the additional OLED. And then we will just run the blue again for a full 12. I actually rather like this build. It's a bit of an enjoyable one. In the future there will be I'm thinking more Minecraft builds, if anything. Oh, messed up there. I think at some point I will be releasing the tutorial for the skyscraper that I am currently working on. That one is going to take a long time. So we'll just fill this white in here. And again, if you want to use different colors, go for different colors. This is just how I did this. If you rather it be a different color, it be a different color. I'm just mapping it off the store in my own city that we're going to run the same. Now let's finish the front of the store here. So we're going to start off with some white blocks. Just right the side. We're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Throw some stained glass. One, two, three, four. Use four white stained glass. Followed by one white block. And another four white stained glass. We're using the glass panes for this. Another white block. And then we're going to build this up. These white blocks will go all the way up. This is just the window divider between a series of tall windows. So we're gonna take this one all the way up. And then this white concrete is gonna be doing the exact same thing. We're gonna go all the way up with it. It's the one in my town that's got a Bunch of windows in the front. Oop. So this is quite the build for being a first tutorial build. So they will get better. Just a little rusty at the tutorials. So now we're gonna take our white stained glass panes. Gonna keep going up here. Except for the top two, we're gonna drop two rows of white concrete. And that's essentially just gonna hide the roof. Because it's just strictly an outside build, we wanna make it so that we, it would look like a normal building. So we're trying to do things to make it look a uh, different depths of everything so that way it doesn't look like just a straight block building. 
This part is always the challenging part, especially doing four like this all the way up. If it was glass blocks, it'd be a lot easier, but because it's the pain, it is a pain. And we're using the white stained glass, just because that's kind of how the storefront in my town is, is just with the, it's a bit of a lighter color. And when we do go to use the black glass, it will make it, it'll give it that difference and kind of give it different different fields of texture and, and different depths. So we're just going to do the exact same here now. We're just going to run all this glass and we will speed this up a little bit here. All right, so now we got the two columns done. So now we're going to use the black stained glass. Just gonna go with three black stained glass and one white stained glass. Black stained glass is representing the door that's gonna be on there. Then we will do one white concrete and go all the way up with it. Do the same as before. Ratio. We're gonna do that off camera here quick. So we've added another door in there which will frankly be for the little convenience station that they have in town here. So what we've done is we just used two black glass blocks after white concrete and then it'll be another layer of white concrete beside it. And then we'll continue on with our four white glass panes with one block of white concrete. Now to lay it all out it's a lot easier to start at the other side that way you can get the proper layout and just build up from there so we will go off camera here again just that way we can keep the video down a little bit here and we will see our end result so here is the end result of that so now what we're going to do is we are going to fill this all in once again off camera but this is what it should look like so now we got all the white stained glass panes in and we will do the roof overhang or canopy or whatever you want to call it so we will go up two blocks and to the left one from the top white stained glass pane and we are going to come out six blocks so we're just going to do the exact same on this side up two and over one okay, come out the six another two and just bring it all the way across we'll end up going with eight To get that we'll be switching to the red concrete blocks so for this now what we are going to do is we are going to come out on the pillar after the second set of glass windows and we're just going to put one on top of each other there just for our starting point and that's where the flag poles will be and then for this just use your discretion of how high you want to go to 
You can be, have it as high or as short as you want for this one. It's not going to make a huge difference for it as long as it is above the roof. Get this one up. Now we're going to extend it out by one and we'll drop both of them straight to the ground. You're going to want to extend it out away from the store so it looks a little bit nicer and then just drop it all the way down. I will do this off camera. All right, so now I have it completely filled in. I have flag poles to the ground. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some lanterns just for some light around here. Now these, you can place them however you want. I did place them around the beams for the flag, but you don't have to place them there. Place them wherever you feel comfortable placing them. Make your, make your own store a little unique. Throw them in any location that you like, or if you like the locations of where I'm putting them, feel free to put them there. But again, this is all up to you for how you want to do it, because in the end, it will be your build. This is more of a guideline than a rule. Because it is dark in there, we are going to throw some random lights everywhere. I'm just kind of picking spots where it gets a little dark, I'll throw a lantern. That way, in a distance, it doesn't look overly too dark. So now it's your call whether or not you want to dig down for a concrete pad here in the front to finish off where all spacing is inside the little 100 by 75 box that we had made at the start. So there we have it. I have just dug everything out. We are going to lay stone blocks down for this. As you can see, I did put it underneath all the glass as well. I highly recommend it, so that way it looks a little bit nicer. And now we are gonna completely fill this in. All right, so we have everything filled in. The bubbles on my screen is actually from the Potion of Swiftness. I find that it actually helps you get everything done a lot faster. It looks so much nicer now having the stone blocks there instead of the grass and dirt. It looks more like a legitimate store. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna add a little shipping area on the back of it, which will extend past the 75 block wall, which is okay, because what store does not have a shipping area? So let's get to it. Now facing the back wall here, from the left, we are gonna go 58 blocks. This is a guideline. You can put the shipping area wherever you like or receiving area. It doesn't matter for me. I want the 58 from the left. We're going to come out about eight blocks roughly because I'll have two bays in here, both consisting of three black glass blocks each. We are just going to extend this out here. And then from the end one, including that one, we are going to go a total of 10 blocks coming out. And that will be our little shipping area. And then we're just going to connect this right to the building here. And then we'll build off from there from this base of a white concrete. What we're going to do is we are going to go up another six levels. I only went up another five. We are going to do a total of six levels. Now we're going to switch to our black glass blocks, and we'll just start off by going three there. We're going to have one spacer for the end. One, two, three. And then throw in our white concrete for our divider of the base. And we're just going to bring this over, make it a lot easier on ourselves. Build it straight up from here, and we're just going to close off this entire thing. This is probably the, the toughest part of the whole thing, is just building it all for the first time, and you guys are witnessing the first ever build of this. In later videos, I will have built it previously, and that way it'll be a little bit easier on the tutorial area. All right, so we did make a few changes off camera here. I did not care for the two white blocks in between. It looks a lot better having that one on the outside, and now we have everything lined up perfectly. I moved the fence where I had to, and also the 100 is gone, and I also put in stone blocks on the inside to give it the concrete, but since you're gonna be able to see it through the glass windows, went a little high there, so we're just gonna 
gas set so it's two blocks from the top. And we're just going to throw everything in here. And this is the little shipping area for the store. You want to add a sunroof or some more you go right ahead. This is again more of a guideline than an actual rule of how to build it. We're just gonna take the stone off the sides here, I think. Yeah, we're gonna put the white concrete all the way down. It looks a little bit nicer. <laughs> fix that. And there we have it. Oh no, we're gonna fix this one too. And there you go, that is the receiving side for the store. Now you can make it as wide as you want or as narrow as you want. Maybe you only want one bay or maybe you want ten bays. That is completely up to you. Design it how you would like. So now what we're going to do is we are going to remove all this fencing. I am going to do a parking lot off camera and you will see the end result of this entire build. And there you have it. That is the finished product of your retail store. Now it's up to you how you would like to have parking. This is just how I've done it. Mine. It was a little bit more time consuming and I did expand the fence all the way around it once again so you have a bit more of a receiving area to go to. Now you don't have to do this. This is again all up to you of how you want to do it. If you want to do it any differently then go right ahead. But if you have any comments or just suggestions for future builds feel free to leave that in the comment section. And don't forget to hit subscribe and click that notifications button as there are going to be more Minecraft tutorial videos coming out and they will be a lot better than this one. Until next time.